I've got a Honda Recon. This is a 98, but uh, the guy at the Honda shop said this problem is, uh, this bushing fits, uh, fixes many uh, different years, not just a 98. This is a 98 Honda Recon. Uh, and what it is is that much play in the steering mechanism. And there's a bushing in there that keeps that shaft tight and that bushing has worn out and has fallen out of there. It's non-existent. So here's the part. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute and we're gonna fix that. Let's see if we can look down in there and give you a better look at it. So here it is. It's that right there. Just a round kind of a clamp has bolts on both sides that clamps that bushing down in there. So take the bushing out. Here's the bushing and it is split, which makes it a lot easier to get in there. But that's where it goes, it's right there. So there's no way for me to position the camera where I can could, could have shown you uh, Un, un, uh, loosening those bolts but basically there's one here and one on the other side you'll notice that the uh, handlebars are thrown all the way to the uh, right to do this side to do the other side you put the handlebars all the way to the left that gives you better access to it so I've got it loose you can see it moving a little bit I don't know if I have to take that bolt completely out and basically I'm doing it with a quarter inch socket. It's a number 12 with a little bit of an extension on it. The extension helped out on the other side more so than this side, but loosening that up. So I think, again, it's got a bolt on both sides and I think I can undo this bolt or undo one of the bolts and like this bolt and then open it up enough without having to undo this bolt completely when, and not dropping it down underneath it. Just open it up like that, put it in, close it up, install the bolt. I think that's what I can do, we'll see. So I grease the inside of the bushing liberally with just a synthetic grease. Doesn't have to be high heat, anything like that, just whatever you got. And again, it splits, it's got a split in it. So it opens up, makes it easier to put on. Let's try it. Okay, so the little green bushing is in there. I did have to undo this bolt here, uh, that bolt, uh, all the way. The other one is just loose. Uh, one other guy said the biggest problem he had was trying to start this bolt right here. So I was hoping I didn't have to come all the way out with it, but I did. But I've got it sitting in there. The uh, Just got to try to start that bolt back in, see how long that takes. Tighten it up. Okay, so I've got it in. That's as smooth as butter, no shape, no play whatsoever. Man, I may have tightened it up a little bit too tight. I don't remember, it's been so long since it was, you know, right. I don't remember how loose the steering was. It's not bad right now at all. Uh, again, grease it before you put it in there. Uh, one of the YouTube video, videos I watched admitted he did not grease his. He just put some oil on it after the fact, and I, I just don't think it got in there. And he was having trouble with his being too stiff, and he, was, he had loosened it quite a bit to make it where it wasn't quite so stiff. So let me show you a secret for getting that but one bolt in there. Again, don't have to do the other side, but you'd have to do undo, undo the left side. Throw your wheel all the way to the right, and you have to undo this one here. But let me show you the trick I used on getting that in there, getting the bolt back in there. So again, that green thing right there is your bushing. I've got a pair of needle nose uh, vice grips. So I just put it in there. You have, to, you have to pull that together so the hole, so the bolt will line up with the two holes. It's, it's going through this hole and it's got to meet the threads on that side. So it has to be pulled together and they have to be even enough for it to go in there. So I used this, clamped it in there, tightened it down. Uh, actually, I reached up from underneath uh, the tire on the uh, left side of the bike, reached up in there and kind of started it by hand a little bit. 
and then finished it up here with a wrench. Works great. Uh, got in there again with a quarter inch. It's a number 12, and this is a 98 Recon. But again, it's common to many, many of the Honda uh, four-wheelers. So that's how to do it. Works great, and uh, man, it's been a while since it was that since it was that butter. I like it. All right. I appreciate you watching. Do it yourself. Time to get on the tractor. Time to get on the four-wheeler. Time to clean it up. It's nasty looking. If you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe down at the bottom. Ring the bell so you'll get notified anytime and every time I put up a, um, a video. You don't want to miss anything. All right. We're gone.